You are watching Rita's Vlog USA. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna make mashed potato. Creamy and buttery mashed potatoes. Here are the ingredients. This is the potato already peel washed and peeled and sliced it's about three pounds like if it's a huge potato um it's between six to five to six large potatoes and i use the reset potatoes which is good for mashed potatoes and then i have butter um one stick and a half um it should be it is supposed to be an unsalted butter, but I only have the salted butter, so I will try that one. I haven't tried it yet, so we will see how it's going to taste. And then for the milk, I have um, 3 4 cup milk. Um, that's evaporated milk, by the way, and then some salt when we boil the potatoes but I'm not gonna put lots of salt because the butter is already salted so I am gonna put the potatoes in a pot with cold water lid on and turn on the stove let it boil once the potatoes is boiling just leave it um, uncovered please and let it boil until the potatoes will be done pork tender I'm gonna check if I'm gonna check if the potatoes are done it is done okay also gonna warm the uh, milk not totally boil just warm it wait till it get warm gonna take out the potatoes and transfer it to a mixing bowl make sure it's totally drained Then we're gonna start mashing the potatoes and then gradually um, pour the warm evaporated milk. You can use full milk but um, or half and half. We don't have full milk so and I have available evaporated milk so I just use the evaporated milk. Gradually pour the warm evaporated milk to the potatoes if it is full milk it will not turn a little darker color but since it is evaporated milk that's why it has a darker the potato will have a darker color on it Also, the butter, um, I forgot to mention, it should be in room temperature. That's why I already slice it um, before I started cooking. Slice it because it's easy to slice when it's not room temperature. And then let it um, 
sit there so it will be in a room temperature. I like it when the mashed potatoes still have some chunky potatoes in it. You don't have to pour all the um, milk, you know, you just have to gradually pour it until you want, until you get the texture that you wanted in your mashed potatoes. And then you're gradually put the butter into the mashed potatoes and incorporate it. Keep mashing. See, if it is um, room temperature butter, it will easily melt. That's why it needs to be in a room temperature. And also you don't have to put all the butter in it if you don't want more butter it depends on your preference really the recipe calls for um, two sticks of butter but since we are trying to um, cut on butter that's why I already have one stick and one half but it really depends on the texture that I'm gonna have if I wanted more butter or lesser butter in here. He's good. I think that's enough butter. Yeah, we are cutting on butter because my husband has high cholesterol, so I think that's enough. So it really depends on your preference as to how many butter you're going to want to put in there and as to the amount of milk you're going to put in there. This is enough. And then we're gonna eat it with the Mongolian meatballs that I made last night. I still have some leftover meatballs, so that's what I'm, we're gonna eat 
with these mashed potatoes. Delicious. So. And then, and then I'm gonna warm these Mongolian meatballs that I cooked last night. So we were gonna eat it with the mashed potato that I just did. Meatballs are ready. And I'm just waiting for my husband to try my mashed potato and meatballs. If you want to know how to um, cook this e quick and easy meatball, Mongolian meatball recipe, you can see my video about this one. So now it's gonna eat the mashed potato with meatballs. One more. Is that real? Mm -hmm.